coming on. Oh, here we go. About to start for our wonderful show, Passion. Hello, everyone's starting to come on now for the great night we're going to have with uh, Violet and it's called Passion. So welcome everyone. I hope we can inspire you tonight because we've got a great topic that's going to give you a lot of inspiration. So let's go. Hello, people are starting to come in now. There's Anthea. Hi Anthea, welcome. There's Helen, beautiful Helen from the South Coast who probably be at our Windang show, I'm sure, with all her friends. She's told me she's excited that she's coming. We've got Lorraine. Hello, Lorraine Costa. How are you? We've got Kelly Campbell. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for coming in, everyone. And thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. We'll be talking about passion tonight. That'll be the subject. And we'll be doing readings as well. So we've got a great night tonight. And Violet the Green Witch has got some little surprises for everyone with her magic spells and carries on. I find it very entertaining. Anyway, so I pulled a few cards for tonight for everyone and these I thought I would use because passion is an emotion. It's about love. It's about having passion. It's about, you know, vive a lot of life. It's about enjoying life to, to, to the extreme and really making the best of this lifetime, which is the best lifetime of all. So the first card I picked in this time, and I know everyone's sort of going back into COVID, especially down in Victoria. Hello to our Victorian uh, viewers. Sorry about what you're going through, but we love and support you and we're sending you warm blessings from Sydney and all the people overseas. Welcome. Welcome to the show. So I thought I would work with them a beautiful, um, it's an old Doreen Virtue pack. It's called the Mermaids. So I thought I'd use th those tonight because it's a beautiful undying energy, water, emotion. So the first card I picked for everyone was stay optimistic. This is about staying optimistic for these hard times. And, you know, I know we get a lot of arrows in our back when, you know, people may not be successful for us, uh, happy for us when we're successful, jealousy, people are in fear. A lot of people are in fear, you know, in this day and age and because they don't know what's going on. It's a year of change. It's a universal year of change. We're in a five years. So there's so many changes on the planet and people are in fear. And sometimes people who are in fear can be very derogative towards others. They're not being very kind or compassionate. So you'll see a lot of that. But anyway, stay optimistic and keep an open heart because with a very good mindset, you'll find that things will be easier for you. Okay, the second card I pulled was alchemy. I love this card because I feel that it's a positive card in the fact that anything you put your mind to with passion, I feel you'll always get success because it's about, you know, giving it the energy. Passion and energy is the same. And so when you're passionate about something, say, for example, if you want to write a book and you're passionate about it and you have this wonderful story that you've been thinking about for years, well, if you're passionate about it, you can actually create alchemy because you have the Midas touch and you're able to accomplish so many things. So when you're passionate about things, you can actually create magic and you'll be so surprised and so pleased with yourself. So that's a great card for now, isn't it? Especially for the topic tonight. Okay, the next card I pulled, and these came to me. I didn't just select them. I actually pulled these cards. The Spirit picked these cards. And it's funny how that works. Um, this is positive energy. It, this is about surrounding yourself with energy, you know, people that are positive, you know, get rid of the Debbie Downers. You don't want to take on their crap, their bad energy, their negative energy. They're, they're Often those people are in fear and they actually drain you and they're not, not very productive to be around. So surround yourself with positive energy. Go for a walk in nature. Do things that, you know, make you feel really good and surround yourself with people that are positive and have a high vibration and, and that compliment you or support you or, you know, uh, things like that. I've been seeing back in the day when I grew up, uh, a lot of women were sort of jealous of you. They didn't support each other. Now I feel things are really changing. I feel people are really starting to understand, you know, how important it is to have a positive mind and a positive energy and to really have positive friendships in your life because it's so supportive, you know, when we all help each other instead of 
you know, working against each other. So, you know, keep away from jealous, negative people and keep positive, happy people, supportive people in your life because that's what it's all about. The next card I picked was all about empowerment. And this is about often we think, oh, I can't do this or I can't do that. You really need to watch your thoughts if you have feelings about... <clears throat> I can't do this, I can't do that, oh, I'm an idiot or whatever. You really need to change your mindset because this time on the planet in the year five of change is all about empowerment. It's all about taking responsibility, personal responsibility for your life and where you want to go and all that sort of thing. And then finally, which was quite incredible, I picked out the wish card. I love this card. So I want you now all to just close your eyes and I want you to think of a wish, something that you really need in your life, something that you want to be, that, that you really need, that you'd love, that you're passionate about, something that would really make you happy. So close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and just make a wish for something that you would really love to manifest in your life. Just think about it. Think how wonderful it would be and the possibilities. Or if you can't think about making a wish for yourself, make it for a friend because that's a very nice thing to do. So make the wish for the friend. Just close your eyes and make that wish and know that all your dreams can come true. So I'm happy to present that tonight. So there you go. So I thought they were great cards. I've always loved little cards like this because it gives you lots of inspiration. Okay, we're going to get Violet on. Are you ready? Yes. <coughs> Sorry. To read people some lovely questions. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, the subject we're talking about, Violet, is passion. It is. And it's all to do with the emotional body. Here mm -hmm. she comes. We'll get her in. And the physical. And the physical. There you go. <laughs> she's got her witchy poo outfit on tonight. I do. I'm the, I'm the great magician this evening. Yeah, she's the magician. I feel so very powerful. Very, very powerful. Full of passion. There you go. So it's passion. Mm, passion. Yes. Okay, we've got some beautiful um we've got some beautiful things here tonight. We do. I so, think we could um we do. We could start very simply with the rose quartz. Yes. So passion and emotions, this is about improving your life. And we have some cures. So some cures we can have are crystals. So this is a rose rose quartz. Yeah. And this is this is all about love. I actually have little ones I wear in my bra at times. Yep, yep, bringing or, in that heart chakra. Or I might wear a rose rose quartz ring. Mm -hmm. Or often with children, it's really good to have these next to the bed. Very calming too, very heart. It's very heart opening. Yes. It brings in that sense of love. Really represents the family, so it's probably not that direct hit of passion, <coughs> but it's that warm glow of love. And also that's a beauty too. Look at that. Oh, that's a really beautiful yeah. one. This is in my... Uh, relationship section of the house I've got a big this big beautiful crystal and that's on the far right from the front door the far right of the house that's a beauty that this really beautiful represents crystal. the divine feminine to the egg being the divine feminine so we really that's have correct. that beautiful energy coming so in there so and these don't cost that much either and I love crystals in the house don't you I I do I have to say some of them have some this amazing... is another crystal I have on my desk my writing desk isn't this gorgeous? Oh, that's it's a heart shaped. Uh, it's the auric. <coughs> I've got a bit of a cough tonight, everyone. So I've, I think I've got the 90 day cough, which isn't good. You've got the dry. I've got yeah, the dry, dry cough. I'm not a smoker, but air. I've got the cold air. Um, yeah, so it's not good. Okay, now this is another stone. I got this in Greece in a place called Kithara. It was on a beach, and all the stones are heart shaped. Isn't, Isn't that, that beautiful? Amazing? And it's actually the island of Aphrodite. Oh, wow. It's in Kithra. And they said Aphrodite, they've got a temple there, and they said Aphrodite used to live there. So I remember I went for this walk, and no one told me this, and I was walking on the beach, and I looked very closely at the crystals, at, at, at the um, rocks, and they're all heart-shaped. Isn't that amazing? They're all about that the same size. That is truly beautiful. I couldn't believe it. Everywhere I went, and then all the beaches on this island, mm. we've got these beautiful heart-shaped rocks and it was just amazing. And we used to see that in the ancient cultures, especially in yeah. the ancient Greeks, where they had temples to their gods 
and, and they had um, the temple um, servers that were often the young women that would keep the fires alight for their gods overnight and, and through the day and keep the temple fires burning. It's incredible, isn't it? So crystals are really good to use. I've got some other. Also, you can get uh, quartz. I've got a quartz crystal here. It's a female. It's a male and a female. See that? It's cloudy down the bottom and it's clear up the top. Yep, and beautiful. what you can do, you can program this. You hold it in your left hand and mm -hmm. you ask for the crystal to give you its energy mm. and you'll feel a tingle along your arm and then you hold it in this hand and you ask the crystal for what you want it to do to bring more love into my life, passion, yeah. bring beautiful people into my life. You can actually program it for what you want to do. Crystals contain that uh, vibration and frequency so we can really have a look at bringing certain aspects, the certain properties of the crystals into our lives. Um, so absolutely, the generator crystals too are amazing for that. Mm. Um, and like Kerry said, you can program so you can actually have a crystal point pointing outwards and you can get one pointing inwards to balance yin and yang and sit with your meditation with that process. So it's a beautiful energy. Another thing to use which is really good is uh, these beautiful essences and you make them too, don't you? I do. This is called Queen of the Night. That's a passion one, Carrie. It's a passion spray one. You can spray that up. in your bedroom. You can spray it in your aura. <laughs> that one's exactly what that one's for. Just around your aura. Yes. You make up these. And what's this made of? This one contains the rose geranium. It contains all the essential oils. Geranium. Um, and it has the crystals that are programmed in the base of that. And they actually have satin grid work. Um, I make those in conjunction with another very talented um, healer. And they actually sit in in the grid works and we put it all together so nice it's to really charge that vibrational frequency and the intention is poured into it mm -hmm. so that is really to stimulate and empower that physical body and that sense of passion and also i love this this is my favorite i've got this up at uluru mm -hmm. it's called a golden ascension Ooh. it's beautiful it's for that your aura nice. it's an aura spray it's beautiful it's young -yang. Oh, I love mm. Ylang Ylang. It just makes me feel so sexy and so beautiful. I just feel, oh, this that is real goddess. Beautiful. Oh, we're going to be so high. Mm. We're, we're going to be goddessy tonight. tonight. Yes, <laughs> we're going to be really high. <laughs> high on. vibration. Yes. Okay, also I want to just show you, I've, got, I've always worked with crystal balls because I worked in shops for years and I'm mm. as a clairvoyant medium. And um, if you have a, a spare crystal ball, you can actually use this. This is a very good enhancer of energy. Mm. that's why it's very important you have to really clear it when you're reading the crystal ball for people and I always used to cover mine in a black cloth after I'd finished with it yeah, to protect it mm. so if you want to use it to enhance positive energy in your life you can because mm. it, in, it, hold, it stores energy the crystal ball mm. so again you place it in your left hand mm. you ask well first of all you clear it white light cleanse this crystal so white light it and then you hold it in your left hand and you ask the crystal to give you your energy, its energy, and then you hold it in your right hand and then you can program it for what you want. And you can actually place this next to your bed. Mm -hmm. You can place it in any section of the house, like the prosperity section, the relationship section, um, the career section, anything you, you, you want passion in your life for. Um, could be health, you might want to have more passion for your health. Amplify for that. It will amplify the energy. So if you, by just placing it in that section of your home, so that's quite incredible. Or you might want to even put it in the creative section. I need more passion in my creative section of my home. Different areas of your home. Absolutely, you can amplify those different areas. So with uh, passion, we have smell. Yes, we do. It smells really important. It is. It's very important because there's nothing worse so than, than, than especially if you bring people. Yeah, and smelling good. Mm, you know, hundred percent. People because are attracted no, people, to that. People, pe we're we're very sort. We're visual, but we also use a lot of smell, don't we? We we really are um, in that animal basis too. Mm. So sense our sensory system is so important in attraction of a of a mate or a partner in how we feel about something if we get that bad off smell we ooh. and also i've noticed like um when i've done readings for people mm -hmm. and, and also out and about if people are bad they generally smell they have a really uh, off, they have a really off distinct, smell like you yeah. can like i know i sound horrible talking like that but yes but i think that it's bad to people differentiate stink. it's not That's something true. like um not having bathed 
Yeah. Or it, now they've got a, a funny smell. It's a very they smell. It might smell of... like it actually smells like a poo. Mm. It smells like poo poo. <laughs> like I've smelt that on a few men. I have to say, or people I've worked with that aren't honest, dishonest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there are people that are psychic, but not necessarily spiritual in our game. Wow, well, that's, that's and they have a funny uh... smell. Like they smell like they're stinky. I think like whenever you are doing something that maybe is a little bit offside or not quite right, um, just the same way you pick things up in your auric field that sort of vibrate at a frequency, so too does smell and all your senses have frequencies that they give off. And, and when you're dealing with clairs, um, clairs have many sensory skills, so they, they have clear gust which is to smell and to taste and that and they pick up those excess sort of sensory systems so there's probably a few of you out there that have those little skills that Kerry has at play there where she's picking up on all these sensory <coughs> stuff that's going on if you are looking to find that out um, and you want to know more about um, the clairs and the different types of skills Kerry does have a book out at the moment, which is amazing. It's called Mediumship. And that will give you the rundown um, on all these different types of senses, different types of skill sets, different things that you, you might just read and go, oh, my gosh, that's just completely what happens to me and really connect with some of the information in here. Okay, so that's Mediumship. It's out by Rock Pool. Okay, another thing in the house, moving on, is... Um, First of all, you have to start with your home if you want to bring passion into your life, don't you? Oh, yeah. So it's very important that you clear your space in your home. So if you want to live like a pig, your life mm -hmm. isn't going to be passionate, <laughs> is it? Like clutter everywhere, does create bad smells. Probably want to um, affects, put fresh bedding <clears throat> on the bed. Affects the energy of your home. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be passionate in your life, in your friendships, in your love life, in everything, yeah. every single subject, your work, your career, your health. I have a health, question for you, you that have heard. to. You have to space clear your house. You have to get rid of all the clutter, get rid of everything that no longer serves you, and that will give you a very good platform yep. to create passion in your life. Now, you you know all this feng shui. I heard once that and I – look, look I, I took this here. on board, okay? I took this <coughs> on board. I went all out on this, yeah. and, and I will say it worked, but I'm going to have it verified by the expert. I was told that you had to make space in your closet for another person's clothes, that you had to have two matching nightstands, two matching uh, lamps, that everything had to be in balance, mm. that they had to be two. It's interesting. To a degree, okay. I agree with that. But okay. look, not, no man could fit their clothes in my cupboard. <laughs> I have to be honest. So I actually have probably three cupboards before the clothes I wear. So the husband got has got a little. Maybe it made me cupboard. throw out some of my more yes. thr I, thrumpy clothes that I used to hide myself. Well, I've in. got a lot of clothes, so that wouldn't work for me. <laughs> now I, I I have got a story about that. Once okay. I went to to this guy's house and he said, "Look, you know, I really want to meet someone, and um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong." And I said, "Okay, well, let's go through your house and let's feng shui it, and I have a look at the different sections." Mm -hmm. So I came in with my little graph you know different sections of the house and anyway we, we come to his bedroom and in his bedroom he's got a single bed and he's got a doona of disneyland or something on it like donald duck i think it was or something like that and i looked and i thought oh my god and then he had these smelly shoes in his bedroom and the window was down it actually smelled stank yeah. right and he had shit everywhere and i just went look mate if you want to bring someone home they would run out the door if they came into your bedroom yeah. I said, how could you possibly bring any passion into your life when your bedroom looks like a 10-year-old? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, for a start, you've got to get a bigger bed. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> the single bed with the, you know, um, Donald Duck Daffy Duna. <laughs> Duna doesn't work anymore. Maybe when you were 10, you're obviously taking it from your mother's place. You need a bigger <laughs> bed. And you need to set it up like it's romantic, like, you know, get some beautiful satin you know, sheets and some um, satin pillowcases and have a lovely um, spread over maybe it. Maybe an air freshener. And maybe have some fresh, beautiful flowers and yep. get the smelly shoes outside. <laughs> Don't, yep. not near the front door, but put yep. them outside or put them somewhere so uh, you, they're not going to trip over all your shoes. And as for the decor, you seriously need to get rid of that um, that 
red and yellow and orange striped wallpaper because it looks like some a football room yeah. or something like and that it's, and especially it's... all your photos i said why don't we make your bedroom romantic and and that way that it's like you it's it like a movie crisis. because it's going to improve your energy and it's going to make room for that woman to come into your life mm. who is going to love you and who's going to create that I passion. Have, I have a bit of a niggle too with um, couples that I see who come through coaching um, that, you know, they say, oh, passion's kind of not on our agenda anymore. And but it we're is. Busy. It's the most important And then I in find your life. out that they have some sort of uh, floor to ceiling television. Yes. in their bedroom terrible and that they're now consumed with watching tv and shows in bed and so you have to make the time to have passion in your life especially your love yeah. life and also your bedroom make it romantic if you want someone in your life make it romantic yeah make 100%. your life romantic and you know try different things you've got fresh to flowers in space that for this person to like uh, what do they say the world loves uh, a vacuum like it, you've got to create the space your, in your story life. you've got to create your story because if you don't if you don't make room or if you don't create if you don't make an effort if you don't put any energy mm. or passion into your love life nothing is going to happen no it won't and it absolutely sure. won't if your attitude is i'm not going online there's only idiots out there um look someone said that to me the other day one of my clients i, I hear it all the time i'm not going online there's only idiots i've gone through ten thousand idiots and I say to them, you know, you forget when I was younger, you didn't have the option of, of getting online and having 10,000 conversations and working out who the idiots were. You had to risk it walking across the bar with the music thumping and get across there and then try and hear what he was saying. What was your name? Sorry. And you were trying to work it out. And, and that was not necessarily any better. I remember my girlfriend saying, I just don't want to meet anyone at the club. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so we're always well, it's unhappy always a with risk. the system. But the system is the system. You, you have, have to put to energy into it to meet people. Yeah. Okay, the other thing to do is when I want more passion or inspiration in my life, I love flowers. Yeah. So I'll fill my house with flowers. I love roses. I, I love yeah, uh, gardenias. Beautiful. I love. I just like bunches of flowers. I put it in different sections of the house. It always yeah, makes lovely, me feel really beautiful. special. Yeah, yes. I, I love that vibration. And also the other thing is ask the love angels. Okay. Because right. angels are amazing to work with because, mm -hmm. for example, you have the archangels, but you also have Pacific angels. Oh. Like you have angels of new work or you may have angels of um, health, but we also have at the love angels. Mm. So what you do, you ask, you call on the love, you get a white candle and you call on the love angels. Yeah. Love angels, I now would like you to bring in my a new love for me. I'm mm. ready. And then you call on them to meet, you know, that That's a really nice um, prayer, actually, well, Kerry. I really like that as an I intention. really believe in prayer Yeah, I really like that. When I've had really hard times, I will pray. Yeah. I will 100%. pray to the angels, Mother Mary, Jesus. I will pray. And I usually get insights. Yeah. And I know that spirit talking to me, giving me advice, giving me inspiration, leading me on the right path. Yeah, 100%. Because there's always solutions to everything. So I've always used the love angels. And it's Archangel Gabriel, too, that does that passion of life purpose, isn't it? Mm. The, the, well, the archangels are good, yes, because you've got Michael to cut off any negativity. Mm. And then you've got Gabriel to sort of bring in inspiration and creativity. Yeah, nice. And then you have Raphael, the healer angel. Yeah, so and healing then, those old wounds even. And then you have Uriel mm. to bring in sunshine. Which is nice. That is really yeah. nice. That's so they're nice. the archangels, but you can actually specifically call in the love angels. Mm. And, you know, like, you know how we have a guardian angel? Well, we do yes. have love angels, and they work. They love. Angels love to help. Yeah. So always call on your angels, love angels, to help you meet someone. You'd be surprised what happens. It's always amazing that when you have a big problem in life and you just um, give it up, sometimes it is too big for you. It's That's just true. too big. I've had those moments. You've had those moments where it's just, I can't fix it. I can't, I don't contain those skills and I I give it up in prayer and I say, you know what, this problem's too big for me. That's true. And I, I really need that help and assistance and I just give it to them and I trust them to take care of it. A lot of people say to me, well, how do I find passion? Yep. And, and I always say, well, what do you love? Mm, you know, absolutely. what are you passionate about? Or people might say, you know, I want to get a new job, but I'm not passionate about my job. I hate what I do. It's mm -hmm. boring. Yep. And I always say, well, what do you love? Oh, well, you know, I've always wanted to do 
um, a lot of sport. I love sport. Well, well I can't. Well, you, they may not be able to work in sport, mm -hmm. okay? But they can certainly do it on their days off. Yeah, get how involved do you in the sport. bring more passion into your life? And when you feel passionate, it fills you with energy because that's mm -hmm. the intention, isn't it? It is. And that gives you the energy to just fire. And then you'll start to, when, you, when your energy is high, your vibration is high, mm -hmm. things will come to you. Much more positive opportunities, um, people and all that sort of thing because we, you're passionate, you, you're happy. Absolutely. Your, your vibration's high. So, you know, doing things you love. Um, also, there's a cure too. You know, in the bark flowers, mm -hmm. people often say, well, I don't really know what I want to do. So mm -hmm. there's cures. In the, in the bark flowers, we have the remedy called wild oat. Oh, nice. Wild oat is really good in the bark flowers because if you make up an essence with that, you can actually buy this from the uh, pharmacy as well, wild mm -hmm. oat. In the bark remedies wild oat will take you to where you need to go because no, a lot nice. of people say oh you know i don't know really what i want to do so i get them to take the essence wild oat. Yep, they've gotten confused they don't know what their passion True. is anymore because some people get mm. very lost yep and the other thing is called silver princess oh i like that one and that's in the australian <laughs> bush flower silver oh, princess nice. it's the energy the vibration of that flower that flower essence will take you to where you want to go because so many people don't know what they want to do no don't i think know they what get they lost. lost very confused there lost. was an there's sort of the old gypsy saying as uh and it's probably you've heard it in um in a lot of folklore which is um show me the child of seven and i'll show you the man and in our saying it's like by the age of seven and so what you love doing as a child is in fact what they say is the passion of life is the gift is the purpose and um that can sound really strange, you know. My my son used to love. Um, he thought he was Bob the Builder, right? And my nana was Wendy. Come on, Wendy, we've got a we've got a job to do. And um, you know, he, he travelled all around the world with his football and soccer, and we all thought he was going to do this. Mm. And then he came back and he does building and construction and like, just like he did from when he was little. He's Bob the Builder. That's incredible. And so we do see a lot of that. What did you really enjoy when you were a child? True. <coughs> Excuse me. The other thing that um, you need to look at passion is your work. Mm -hmm. as, as we said before, it's about finding the passion with your work. Um, it's about health, finding the passion with your health. It's about improving your health. I mean, I'm an example of that. I get run down a lot. Yes. And well, I always get it's... asthma or flus, which yep. I've got now. I've got a bit of asthma. So that's why I'm coughing and carrying. Well, I haven't got COVID. Don't worry. <laughs> um, and then, then there's your lifestyle. You've got to be passionate about your lifestyle. Like, you know, bring the balance in. Like you might want to work a lot, but you also need to balance. Yep, need to have that rest. Need Otherwise to put in the sick. family time. That's for sure. Take care of your sectors. Really important. And if you're missing in, you, know, you may need, as we said, you may need um, passion in romance. We've mm -hmm. told you what to do. Create the bedroom. Make an effort. Go out and meet people. Yeah, you've got to get get out there and I think Carrie too it's like you said you were talking about clothes earlier yeah and and styling something up and it's like lifting your vibration you feel better don't you mm -hmm. you've got to put that attention and focus on yourself it's right really important another thing I'm very passionate about it's about saving the planet mm -hmm. I'm very much into the environment I'm very very passionate about that uh, often I will go in a lot of marches Yep. Um, I'm very aware. Uh, I recycle everything. I, I volunteered on yep. cleanups and things like that. And um, so I bought these amazing cards. Oh, these and look interesting. It's called 100 Ways to Save the Planet. Wow. Okay. So occasionally, um, you know, I, I will pull a card like check for the green seal for a start, like different little meanings, you know. Um, Bird feeders. Bird feeders are really good. I love that as a concept yes. because um, birds, our, birds. our birds really aren't getting fed. I That's spoke sure. to someone, I saved a little um, raven baby, mm. um, had a wing issue. And when I was speaking to the lovely volunteers at Wires, which are wonderful people, uh, amazing what they do, and they came out and I'd had this beautiful little um, friend with me, and they actually explained to me that they are in a food shortage. That's true because of what's happening, yeah. like people chopping down trees yeah. and things like that. Another thing, buy in bulk. Yeah. That's buy in a bulk. Uh, recycle. Food banks. Yeah. Using food banks on the planet. Um, offset your carbon. That's a really big one, isn't it? Yeah. Because everything's so slow at the moment with the government. Watch your laundry. 
don't put really it half one. on empty loads. Save up your laundry and wait till you get a big yep. wash. Don't wash every day. Use big washes. Save on water. Uh, the different sort of power that you've got. Yeah. Instead of using electricity, we've got um, those bands on our roof. Okay. okay. And you save a lot of money. Um, so many things, though, you know, with these little cards, and it's good to pull them out. Educate children, you know, on recycling and garbage and that sort of thing and how to save. Just picking up our I know rubbish. there's so many things. You Just... really need to educate the kids. Yeah. yeah. You really need to educate kids Lee, because Lee we, that example too. you know, refusable bottles, you know. And also, if you've got nothing to do, go and do some voluntary work in cleaning up the harbour here in, here in Sydney because there's so much trash. Oh, yeah. And, and I, do you know turtles, what? I love you know, those, are swallowing um, plastic and dolphins really, in the ocean. I really love the gorilla gardening too, which um, I, you see a lot overseas and I've seen it pop up a little bit here, which is where the nature strips or the, the strips around are used for growing actual mm. um, food plants. And so there's trees also there's and, more community gardens. Yeah. And which is fantastic, which is great to see too. Yeah, yep. and planting of trees and really all that. It's so important to be passionate about the planet. It, see, that's one of on my and top lists. I have to say, peace. Do you actually get when you're mm. outside in nature? Because we are making the future for our children. Mm. So that's what it's about. So now we come to the juicy part of the night. We've got Violet's <laughs> tips on passion. What have so, you got for us, Violet? Tonight I brought us. Um, one of my new little products. So this is an actual love spell. Oh, love spell. I love these. So it's a, an actual one to attract in love and passion into your life. So it's mixed in here with a lot of the aniseeds, the rose. When I'm making these, these are all smoked through. The intentions are set and the vibrational frequency is set at the same time. And we handcraft these and mix them together. And you can see the little rosebuds in there. Mm, and they're amazing. set with the crystals. So that's adventurine and rose quartz is set into these jars to represent. So what, what do you do with these, Violet? Well, these go on to little altar spaces. Oh, this is for an altar. Yep. And so you can see here in my little hand is a little passion candle. Oh, it's now, pink. I love it. Mm, Over okay. the course of... Um, three to seven days depending on the level of your commitment we actually we just heat these up so you heat them up so the wax little melts and then you'll actually just push them into the top of the jar here and they burn and you'll burn one per day over the course of either three to seven days setting your intention now if if you have the name of you say your husband or what you want to bring passion back to you can actually use a little pen and put their name in it and you'll sit it on there and it's to increase the love vibration, to increase that passion vibration around it and to increase the harmony. Balancing the two layers of the heart chakra, okay? The outer and the inner with the crystal vibration. Mm -hmm. This is not, and I repeat, not to make somebody love you. <laughs> Which means, <laughs> Yes, I've seen those sort of okay, spells on the, it around the place. It is not for that. Yeah. It is to help you meet mm. someone of the right frequency. It is to increase harmony and healing of the heart with a current partner and to induce those passions. And we we give it a little bit of extra excitement by putting a little bit of horny goat weed in there. Horny goat of, weed, it sounds. <laughs> what is that? It's to balance up our um, yang Do you drink energy. it as a tea? You can, actually. Let me smell it doesn't have too much of a smell. It smells like very herbally. Yeah, but you can mm. add one to so two teaspoons this, as so a So do you tea. tell people, when you make the tea for people, do you tell them what you've got in there? No. Is this what you do to your boyfriend, <laughs> Violet? No wonder he's got no not, energy. Not everyone see. needs to know the secret potion, do they? That's yes. give, like giving so that's away the secrets. Tea. It's part of the tea. That's part amazing. Of, you add a bit of peppermint <laughs> and then it just tastes like peppermint tea. Oh, right. So you mm. tell them it's peppermint tea, but it's really horny goat's <laughs> tea. So look out. What happens to you? You get quite frisky, do you? I, it helps just increase that circulation. Yeah, I can, help, I can feel my heart going. I'm probably going to have a heart attack. <laughs> so it's funny. just come down. <laughs> yes. Okay. Have you got any other tricks? Those are my tricks up my sleeve this okay. evening, people. Well, if anybody wants to buy any of Violet's spells, they can find them, me on Gypsy Cauldron. We will give you the link later on. So if if you want to bring more passion in your life, maybe you can use Gypsy's uh, 
You can make Spells. a special tea if you That's want That's exciting. To. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we've got some questions. <laughs> okay, we've got some questions. Let's start. <clears throat> Here I go, coughing away. Um, let's see what's going on. Okay, this is how what I do. I speak to spirit on the left side. Uh, the spirit energy comes in there because that's where um, the spirit energy, I can hear them talking. I work with my guide on this side. The clairvoyant uh, side is over this side. And also I'll be working with the mythic tarot tonight. I may pull a few cards. So I do lots of things. It's sort of like a mixing them around. So we're going to start with the questions now. So we've got Athena Morris. Any advice about my health? I would just love to know. Am I travel? How I'm traveling in life? Look, Athena. The first thing I'm getting for you is I feel that um, you have had a lot of stops and starts, and you've been feeling very bogged down. And I feel you've also had to make a lot of decisions because you've had quite a lot of responsibility around you for some reason. And I feel that uh, things will change for you, especially towards the summer months. At the moment, you're kind of feeling stuck in the mud. Towards the uh, spring, summer, I feel things will really move for you because I feel you've got a lot of karma coming your way because you do do a lot for other people and you're always helping others. So I feel it's your turn coming up. I do feel that things will improve. There's a lot more love, new beginnings. And also there's the star card for you. And also I feel you're a very old soul, Athena, I have to say. And um, I do feel that with your stress, I feel you need to really put a lot more passion into that, into your health and start to make time for you, start to say no. And the other thing they're saying is you really need to use boundaries more. You need to learn to how to say no because you're a person that you're always, always ragged with other people's demands. Okay, Nita Lyons would like to know if I will be in a relationship and if so, when it will happen. The first thing with you, Nita, I feel that sometimes you can be a little bit stubborn um, because you're sort of 50-50. As for passion, you need to put that into an effort, passion and effort I get if you want to have a relationship because I do feel that you will have time because you're a person that you're, you're very knowledgeable. I feel you have a lot of um, intelligence, a lot of information. And they're telling me that uh, you, you, you need to get more involved in creative things instead of worried about work, work, working all the time. So I feel uh, creativity will really open you up and it'll give you that passion to get out there to try new things because I just feel you're, you're a little bit stuck in, stuck in a rut at the moment, I have to say, Nita little bit stuck in the rut and um, you sort of think yes no yes no you know would I will I meet someone yes no I don't know couldn't be bothered he's a creep whatever but you, if you put a bit of effort into it things will change definitely so yeah I do feel that um, you will be in a relationship but you really need to just make the effort and give it a go and 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 do something creative in the meantime, like dancing or something creative would be really good for you too is what I get and that will really get your juices going. Okay, we've got Tracy McDonnell. I've been given an old ring. I have no idea which side of family it comes from. Can you see any vibrations around it or where it came from? The first thing I'm getting for you, uh, I feel I get this, like the first thing I'm getting, I feel, I don't know if you have relatives in England or the British Isles, but I do feel this uh, ring may have had that sort of, I'm getting England or British Isles around you. So it may have its origins there. And um, I feel that uh, this is like a keepsake and I feel this ring was very much loved. The person who owned it uh, loved this ring a lot. So I do feel that it will give you a lot of luck, a lot of luck and um, to look after it is what I'm getting. I feel it's kind of like a gift. Um, I feel that it's... I feel that there's a woman and a man involved uh, with this ring. So it may have been the man that gave the ring to the woman is what I'm getting. And I feel this you're meant to have this ring and that's why it was given to you. It's, it's beautiful. But I definitely get, um, could even be Irish or English or something like that. You know, it's the British Isles is what I'm getting. So, yeah, this ring's beautiful. And I feel it will bring you a lot of good luck. It's um, You're meant to have it because often crystals or rings or jewellery that's given to you, it's, it's like a keepsake and it's meant to happen. That's how and sometimes spirit on the other side they arrange this for us so there you go okay Andrea I'm thinking of having a medical procedure 
will this happen? Will I find the money for it? Look, I feel this procedure is absolutely necessary for you. I feel you've been thinking about it for a long time and you go over and over it in your mind. And I do feel that you will find the money for it because it's something that I feel it's something you've been wanting, thinking about it for a long time. So I get, yes, Andrea, I do feel that you should have that medical procedure. It'll make you feel a lot better and it'll take a lot of stress and anxiety away. And also it's going to make you feel better about yourself because I feel that you've, you've just sort of been going this over and over in your mind for so long and it's sort of put a bummer a damper on everything so yes I do feel you will find the money for it I do feel it may come through a loan okay Kim Merrill's do you see anything around my new relationship please uh, with Kim with you Kim I do feel one foot forward one foot back is what I'm getting I do feel this relationship I do feel it's almost this a um I feel it's I feel the relationship isn't going as well as as what you think. I do feel there's been some negative energy in your life in the past is what they're saying. So I, I hate to say it, but I do feel you're carrying neg negative energy from your past. So for you to have any type of relationship to open yourself up with, you really need to let the past go. And a really good exercise to do that would be um, cutting the ties with the person that's really hurt you because I do feel you carry that and it's sort of putting oh it's sort of putting a bummer on everything isn't it like um, this be really hard for you to trust anyone is what I get this re new relationship I look I don't feel he's a bad person I feel if you give him a go he'll be okay for you so get rid of your past stop thinking about negative things and you know um, and stop thinking you know how badly you've been hurt and stuff and I feel things will be fine for you okay Melanie Okay, let's have a look. Melanie will stop. My grandson sleeps in the day but not at night. Any any insights? Um, I'm not sure how old he is, but I do feel that um, I don't. I feel he's he's not feeling comfortable. Is what I'm getting, and that's why he's not sleeping overnight. I do think feel things will settle. Um, he may have something to do with his digestion is what I'm getting might be something to do with his digestion and um, I do feel feel um, I do feel you may have to get professional help with this because I feel that you're struggling uh, struggling he's and you know that the poor mother and the parents aren't getting much sleep so it's very very hard so I do feel that this will be um, settled in the next three couple of months this will be settled and I do feel that he need that the baby needs to see us like a specialist because I feel it's something could be with his digestion or diet is what I'm getting lost Dalton my mum has been diagnosed with cancer I'm not sure how she will go any insights please look I feel your mother I get her mother's in spirit around your loss uh, your grandmother I get a grandmother figure I feel it's your mum's mum in spirit and I feel this cancer I feel it's uh, I feel it's kind of early stage I don't feel it's terminal is what I'm getting I feel she's got a good recovery rate because I don't feel your mother's ready to go yet because she's a very strong character and um, it's just kind of like a wake-up call. Um, I know everyone's struggling, but it's about keeping a mind. Uh, really, it's about keeping a positive mindset because often cancer can be a wake-up call. I do feel there's a positive outcome. I don't feel she's going to pass. So I feel I feel that you'd be quite surprised at also her strength and how she handles the whole thing. But she's a very very strong person. She's got a very strong person. She's got a lot of support. And I'm being told that I've got a lady in spirit. It's her grandmother. I feel she may have had heart problems, and she's telling me it's not her time yet. So don't worry, don't worry is what she's saying. And um, also there's a male in spirit too, and I feel that um, he may have had cancer too. And he's also telling me not to worry, not to worry. Things will be all right. So there you go. Okay. Dana Harris, please will I find love. At the moment, Dana, I have to say, I feel you're in a bit of a downer. I feel things have been very hard for you. It's like you're in this negative slump is what I'm getting. I see the darkness around you. So you nearly, you really need to be more passionate about your health. You need to start to do things that can help you with your health first and foremost is what I'm getting because I don't feel that, I don't know whether you're eating right, you're sleeping right, but mentally I feel you're very low is what I'm getting. And, you know, so you need to be really passionate. You need to bring more passion into your health and start to do things, especially walking, exercise, trying new things. And then I feel once you do that, love will find you because you're quite an attractive woman. It's just that you're very negative at the moment. You can't see from the darkness all around you. You're very dark. So you need to put passion into your health, especially into your mental health, and start to do exercise, start to walk, start to eat food, start to really be passionate about your health and, and take the time out to look after you. 
Now we've got someone called Toots here. Will my daughter-in-law's eyesight improve caused by diabetes? She is having injections in them. The first thing I'm getting, oh, I just feel that it's very frustrated, very, very frustrated. Your daughter-in-law is very frustrated because I feel that um, this diabetes has really been terrible for her. And I just feel that it will improve, but I just feel that there, there, is, there will be a gradual decline. There will be a gradual decline. But what I'm getting to is they're telling me there may be some sort of new medicine. At the moment, it doesn't look the prognosis, I have to say. But I do feel there may be some new medicine that she's going to be taking that that um, that will improve. So I feel over time things will improve is what I'm getting. I don't know whether she's got a new specialist or a new doctor. I, I do feel she may be trying... Um, I'm getting there maybe in the next couple of months there may be some sort of trials. They may be doing some sort of trials and she will have a breakthrough eventually. But at the moment, she's very negative. I do feel there will be a trial for a new medicine is what I'm getting, which will help her eyes. I know what diabetes is like. I've got it myself. So it's, you have to be very, you need to put a passion. You need to put a lot of passion into health and look after yourself in so many ways. Virginia, will either of my sons get married soon? Any advice from Spirit on this, please? I definitely get for one. The other one, I'm not sure if he ever wants to get married is what I'm getting. So I feel over time, time will tell. I definitely get that um, one of your sons, I do feel there is a marriage for one is what I'm getting. But I think, I'm, I'm not sure, but it could even be the younger one is what I'm getting. Um, your boys do what they want in their own time. I just feel that you need to sort of back off a bit and just let them do what they want to do. They don't like to be told what to do your boys they're very stubborn that the last thing kids the last the last thing kids want is you know us to tell them things so you need to back off i do feel one of them in particular i feel will get engaged and the other one over time is what i'm getting you will get your wish i do feel they will find really good partners and i can see lots of grandchildren around you Cass Ann, any messages from my mum please i miss her with you, Cass, I feel that you and your mum had a very, very strong soulmate connection. I feel your mum comes around you a lot and she's telling me that you've been taking life quite hard at the moment. She misses you too, but, you know, she, she, you and her discussed this a lot before she died about her departure. She misses you as much too, but she doesn't want you to worry about her. She's telling me she's fine. She's telling me there's some sort of new work coming up for you. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether you've been doing some sort of study, some sort of new work or something really exciting is going to be coming up for you. And that's going to, it's like you've got too much time on your hand and your mum's um, telling, your mum keeps telling me to tell you not to worry, not to worry. And um, to keep an eye on everyone. But there's some sort of new study or work coming up for you, which is going to be very exciting. And also it's going to bring you more money, which is a good thing. So love, love, love from the spirit world to Kaz, from your mum. Okay, lovely lady. And also I don't know if she used to like card. I've got someone around me. I think it was her who used to wear cardigans a lot. And she's with some, I get someone who was a smoker. I get a lot of cigarette <coughs> <coughs> smoke around her or someone in the spirit world with her when I was tuning into her. I could smell cigarette smoke. Okay, Tony McLean. Can you see a baby soon for my son and daughter-in-law? Is my mum around in spirit? Your mum's telling me that um, they won't just have one, they'll have a few, is what I'm getting. I feel I feel it's going to be a girl and a boy. I feel that children are coming. Your mum seems to be looking after everything in the spirit world. She says, don't worry that they will fall pregnant. It's just there's been a lot of worry around it. And um, I feel that once this new baby comes, it's going to bring so much love into your life. the matriarch of the family that used to always watch over everyone. And that's what you miss because it's like you haven't got anyone to go and tell all your problems to anymore or confide in, that sort of thing. But um, I'm being told that, you know, mum said not to worry, concentrate on yourself. And she said there's going to, going to be so many new kids in the family, it's not going to be funny and she's laughing. And um, she sends her love. Also, there may be a move for someone is what I'm getting in the family. Okay, Lee Irwin, any message about my health, please? With you, Lee, the first thing I'm getting is you've got a lot of things going on. I just feel you're running from pill to post. I can see you running. It's running here, running there. And also I feel you're stressed. I feel that you need to talk to your partner or your husband or whoever he is and he needs to take on a bit more responsibility in the home because you're running around, you're working all the time and I don't feel he's pulling his weight is what I'm getting. 
and um, I feel that you need to ask him to, um, the family need to help you more, not just him, your family need to help you more. And I feel that's, that's. I just feel you're very tired. And also I feel you may, I feel like I'm, sorry, we're getting a bit of indigestion in my stomach when I tune into you. So something with your diet, I feel you get a lot of indigestion and also I'm getting a tightness in my chest area. So you're kind of worrying and I don't, I feel you're always on the go all the time, running, running, running this and that because you've got so much passion in your life, Lee. You like to do so many things. You wear so many hats, don't you? Is what I'm getting. You, you're, you, you are remarkable with what you do, Lee. I feel you're a person that you can do anything you want, but you need to delegate more because you seem to be not only, you don't have enough time roller scanning around to do everything for yourself because you've got all these people having to do it for them too. So you need to delegate in your home. Also, don't worry about money because I feel through your work, I do feel this increase. So even though you're wearing a few hats and you may have a few jobs, I do feel that work and money is increasing for you, but you just need to delegate more in the home is what I'm getting and that will stop. Um, any headaches, any stress, any anxiety or any digestive problems is what you're getting. So um, also I get weights. I feel weights would be really good for you too. So that's something that you can pursue. But honestly, Lee, you need to be passionate about your health. Really make the time to make a better body, better better mind so you can go out and kill the world because you're very good at what you do. You're, you're a beautiful soul. Okay, Stephanie Booth. A lot of things going on at the moment can't take much more will things start settling down soon stephanie the first thing i'm getting is whoa it's like you're i get the chariot card i feel you just need to really pull back on what you're doing and just pull back and let everybody else sort everything out because it's like you are it's like you rush forward and you sort it out. So you need to pull back. I feel, yes, you will You will be okay. You need to take time out. I'm getting taking, taking time out in nature, being by yourself and just boundaries. You know, go for walks in nature, look after your health because I just feel so much is going on. I feel walking is really good for you because I feel when you walk, I feel that you're really able to clear your head and you're able to think because it's just like you can't think at the moment because you're so confused because you've got so many things going on. And also I, I feel you talk on the telephone too much is what I'm getting. You're always on the phone is what I'm getting. I've got um, a male here in the spirit world. I feel that he may have had um, some sort of um, depression or something. And when he was alive, I don't know if this is sure, maybe an uncle or someone related on your father's side. And he's telling me that um, you're always on the phone. You're always, you never stop. You're always going, going, going. It's very difficult for you is what I'm getting. So just be aware of taking time out for you, especially getting out in nature. Okay, Diane Clark, is there any news about selling a house or buying another? Any messages, please? With you, Diane, I feel that um, you definitely, I feel that you want to sell your house, you want to move on. I definitely feel there's, there will be a house sale. And um, I do feel you will sell your house because, and I feel that definitely, I feel there's a move and I do see you're going to buy another one. So you will get your wishes. It's just a time. I just feel that it's just, just a bit slow. You don't know what's going on. I do definitely see a house sale. Um, and I feel once you make the sale, I feel definitely move on. I feel there may, may be a move away from where you live. And um, it could even be like a sea change for you. I feel that you, it's a big change coming up for you, your family and your friends and everything. I feel it would be very good for you. And it's like a new beginning is what I'm getting. But I definitely get um, selling a house would be good for you. Yes, it's a good thing to do. It'll get you moving on. Okay, Amy Vass. I bought a house. Big step for us and kids. Will we be okay? First thing I'm getting is yes, you will be okay, Amy. It's the best thing you could have done. I feel that you've got your maternal grandmother here. She's coming in on this side and she's clapping her hands. Best thing that you've done. Best thing you've done. I feel the kids are really excited. They've all got their own rooms. Um, I feel that it's almost too good to be true because this is a dream come true. So you've just got to stop, keep marching forward, forward and things will look after themselves. I know you're really worried about money is what I'm getting and I feel that new work will come anyway. So don't worry about that and things will settle. You're just moving ahead, moving ahead, moving ahead. There you go. I do feel definitely some improve in work wages is what I'm getting. Amy, I don't know what sort of work you do, but I do feel that maybe some a new job's coming for you or new work as well. So with added money, the kids are really excited. 
really, really excited about what's going on. So, yes, clapping your hands, clapping your hands. I feel it's the best thing you could have done. And they're so excited about the new place. And I've also I feel that you may be getting another pet is what I'm getting. It could even be a dog. Okay, Karen Donald, Donnellan. I just started a new job on a casual trial. Will it continue? Look, I feel it's up to you, Karen, is what I'm getting this new job. I feel this is something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. And I just feel that you've left the last job. It wasn't any good. I just feel that um, you just need to keep carrying on and you need to give it a go is what I'm getting. It's just that you're not sure. You're not sure. I definitely see opportunities coming for you. At the moment, you're a little bit confused. You're thinking, well, you know, should I stay here or should I go? Look, I feel that just give it a go is what I'm getting, even though it may, because it's not time to leave. I don't see you going backward to where you were. I feel you need to stay with this job until you work out till the next one comes is what I'm getting because this job is definitely taking you to where you go want to go because you're a person that you talk about change Karen but you don't really um I don't know if your father in spirit was like this like it's sort of um he was you you like details you like you don't like to make change is what I'm getting I mean, you don't like change around you so you kind of very you like to be set in your ways I don't know if your dad was like this I don't feel your mother was I feel she was a different personality but I'm definitely getting that don't be set in your ways give it a go and um, this is going to take you to where you need to go is what I'm going um, also you're very talented with your create you're very passionate about a lot of things in your life like um, creative things um, of a meta metaphysical um, metaphysical nature is what I'm getting so I don't know if you do numerology or astrology or something like that would be really good for you and I feel you can make money out of that too the study though is sort of ongoing you're going to be doing it for many years till you're old lady I can see you sitting in groups is what they're saying sitting in groups doing that and also you may even write a book on it one day um, but I definitely see this you eventually will have your own business is what I'm getting so this job now it will be probably temporary for a while you'll keep doing it but it's going to take you to where you need to go because I feel actually later on I feel that you're going to be working for yourself is what I'm getting okay Emily Rose Dalton will my current relationship last I love him but my family don't oh that's a hard one isn't it Emily because your family are very very um vocal aren't they and also look I think that they can see what you can't because sometimes you don't see what's really going on with people you know so I feel your family are just looking looking out for you um, I do feel you really love this person I do see you staying with him for a while but I don't know if it's going to be long term is what I'm getting um, at the moment it's it'll be good for a while and then I feel that you two will separate I don't see you staying with him full term so um, in the end it's not going to last because family means everything to you and also I feel your family can see what's good for you and what's not at the moment it's very exciting though because this guy's very interesting but he does drain your energy because he does have a lot of problems and that's what I feel your parents are talking about so will this relationship last I get no okay Sonia Cleary Will I leave my current job this year? Sonia, I feel that you've been thinking about doing a lot of things and um, I feel you're very talented in, I don't know whether you do any healing work or anything, but I feel that you're, you're very gifted in many ways. I feel you're, 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 you're a bit of a channel. I don't know if you meditate, but I do feel energy goes through you. So you're very um, you're good at channeling and energies is what I'm getting. And I feel that that's an ongoing thing for you, which is going to be really good. Um, with the current job that you're in, it's much of a much as I don't feel you're really passionate about that job. So I feel you'll stay there to something new comes. I definitely see probably by the end of the year, I see you getting into something new that you love. This is just a sort of um, like a safety job, something that you just do like a... Um, a job that's not really uh, it's not it's not forever because I see new work coming for you more towards um, summer so next year is what I'm getting there'll be big changes for you won't stay in this job but I do feel you need to keep going with all your metaphysical work so I feel that you're quite intuitive you're a bit of a channel probably good with healing people that sort of thing you'd be work you should be working with people Kathy Hargraves is love coming this year Kerry Oh, Kathy, uh, I, when I tune into energy, I just feel you're so romantic. You're such a rom romantic person. And um, I do feel that at the moment there's a lot of confusion around you about past relationships. I don't really see anybody around you at all that's sort of quite significant in your life that um, 
you know, you really want to meet. So I feel the best thing for you, because at the moment you're not doing anything, you really need to start to bring passion into your life, like we were talking about, like try some of the spells or make the beautiful bedroom. And then you need to make an effort. You need to actually go onto one of those dating sites because they're telling me that you need to spend money to find your passion, your partner. It's almost like an agency or something like that. You're going, oh, no, I don't want to do that. But I feel that's the only way it's going to work. I feel that you may spend a bit of time and money and start to meet people that way because I don't feel that you've got the, I don't feel you've got the opportunity to meet people where you are and what you do. So um, I definitely see you getting involved in an agency. And then I do feel a lovely man. I'm getting a lovely man around you and I feel he may be a water sign and I feel this guy's coming probably within six months. He's a water sign. He's a very sensitive guy and I feel he'd be really good for you. And um, I feel that um, you may even meet him through like a work situation is what I'm getting too. So I see you doing the agency. It's like practice time. and But this guy may be work related or have something to do with some sort of work that you do. Or he's got a similar interest anyway. So definitely um, you and him will just hit it off. It starts as a friendship and it gets better, 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 better. Okay, Lita Hosking, my mum passed two weeks ago, is she okay? The first thing I'm getting is that um, she's talking about the funeral. I feel that um, the funeral, there was a lot of um, stress and stuff going on at this funeral, but she was happy, happy. She's happy with uh, the organisation is what she's saying. Um, I feel at the end, um, Lisa, I feel your mum's passing was quite fast at the end. She's telling me she was very peaceful and very comfortable. So she wasn't distressed at all, even though she was sick for quite a while is what she's saying. And she's been trying to make contact with you. So she's telling me, have you been dreaming of her? She's telling me, do you dream of her? Because that's how she wants to contact with her. Okay. She's also telling me you've got a small photo of her um, that's your favourite. It's not when she was sick, it's when she was younger days. She doesn't like the photo of her when she was sick. And she said, carry the Carry the photo around and um, talk to the photo. And I feel that you'll be able to hear her talking or sort of get her thoughts is what she's saying. She's laughing. Um, she's a beautiful woman, isn't she? And um, I'm so sorry for her passing because I know it's been really hard for you but she's telling me she's okay and also she's telling me with her she's telling me she's with her mother in the spirit world and also her father is what she's saying and she sends uh kisses and hugs to everyone and the passing was very gentle is what she's saying and she just sends her love and it was very quick at the end is what she's saying she got a bit of a shock oh it's this easy is it is what she's saying your mum loved flowers too she loved flowers and she said, make sure you always fill your house with fresh flowers. She's got a thing about that. And also she loved, liked to get the family together and she's talking about the baked dinners and how she's loved to get all the family in. And um, she said, you're very similar too, aren't you, Lisa? You love family. Love, love, love to you, Lisa, from the spirit world. There you go. Okay. Okay, I think that's all for tonight, isn't it? I sort of hope I answered uh, quite a few questions. Um and we've got Sally Berto. I've just seen on the screen. Hi, Sally. How are you? She's you saw me at the Mind, Body, and Spirit Festival. That's nice. She should have come up and said hello. Um, with you, Sally. I don't know if you've got some sort of new work coming up, but I do feel that um, something news coming up with your work situation. Things are going really, really well. I know you've had a lot of worry around you, but I feel things will work out. So don't worry about anything. So thanks for contacting with Violet and, and myself tonight. Um, I'm not doing any private readings. I've closed my books till September, but I will be doing spirit shows in Wingdang. Uh, Wingdang, the date is, let me have a look. I have to write it down. The first show, the spirit show I've got is down at Wingdang. It's down at Wollongong. It's on the 18th of June and it's 7.30 and it's um, all the details are on the website if you want to look that up. The Wingdang show is really great. It's a beautiful club that we, I've been doing it now for 10 years. So it's a, it's a fun night. So people from all over the South Coast come up and to that show, which is good because I only go get down there once a year. And then I've got a show coming up in Five Dock. It's on a Sunday. It's a matinee. It's on the, the 11th of July, which is great. So if you're in Sydney, um, check out our Five Dock show. Violet's going to be at that one, aren't you? Yes, I am. And she's going to have a few of her products. And also at both shows, I'll be promoting my new book called Mediumship. Mediumship is my passion, my love, and it's something I've been doing since I was 17 years old when I started in the Spiritualist Church. And I write a lot about the different types of mediumship that you can do. So this is my passion, my work, mediumship. And I'll be selling the book 
at the shows coming up and so if you're not doing anything come along and join us it'll be a wonderful night it's generally like a two-hour show yes. and lots of things going on we've got door prizes and things like that so thanks for joining us so you want to come and wave goodbye yes I've got violet here to say goodbye thank you and thanks to everyone for letting me know about some of the um troll behavior i've just been sorting that out so oh thanks, you're good everyone. at that aren't you all right okay, thanks, thanks everyone. everyone thank you very sorry much sorry about the trolls it's just oh. day, this is what happened in this day and it age. is and you know we don't want you to um be jumping on there to give money to anyone for paid answers no. Giving your money this away. This is a free a, show. This is completely yes. free. And so if anybody gets on for whatever, I don't even do readings anymore. My books are closed, so it's a fake. Yeah. So there so, you go. It, you know, anyone who's trying to tag onto your posts and sort of say, hey, I'm going to answer Delete your question. Them or report and, them to Facebook. Um, please, please feel free to report them. I've just reported that person as well. Um, we don't want you to be taken advantage of during our time at all. Okay, guys, it definitely doesn't come from us. All right. And Much remember, love. You've got the wish card. Yep. So don't forget you've made that wish and don't be surprised when it comes true. So That's right. bring passion into your life. Thanks, guys. Bye, everyone. See you later. Bye.